Alrighty guys, so uh, I wear Sperry's and one of my shoelaces broke this past week and um, watched a bunch of videos on how to lace Sperry's with like paper clips and these hooks you gotta buy and all this crap and I'm like there's no way that this is what you gotta do. So anyway, um, just by using a little bit of brain power I decided to give this a try and it worked absolutely perfectly so literally as long as your laces are still in your sparies I just take them down to that last um, eyelet down there um, and then I literally I just bought right off sparies website replacement laces um, literally I take a piece of masking tape that is it one piece of masking tape and simply put half of that end of the new lace on there half of the old lace end to end right there and then literally just wrap around now the one thing you want to do is make sure that this masking tape isn't too big because it builds up too large then and has a hard time fitting through the eyelet so um, make sure you're not using a ridiculous amount of uh, masking tape but anyway you just spin it around just get it all the way down into a circle and then um, just use your fingers to kind of mold it in slightly heated up to where it gets a little bit more sticky. But anyway, that's it right there, okay? So you're attached now to the end of the old lace and literally you just start feeding it through and as you get to each eye, eyelet just you know use your hand to help that masking tape uh, through that way you're not putting too much pressure on that joint but literally I mean it's you really can't mess it up that is it. You don't need to go buy a hook. See, I already threw the first eyelet and I'll, I'll keep going through the whole shoe for the video just so you can kind of see literally there's nothing nothing to it. So I'm just going to keep feeding it. Um, see, so yeah, as you get to that first eyelet, you just kind of work it. Make sure you've got enough slack <laughs> to keep it going, obviously. And boom. See, already in. Coming out the other side, you just grab that by the tape, boom, through the next one, all right? And literally, I mean, it, it, there's people who just are, you know, which I, it is definitely more difficult to do than your average shoe, which is why there's videos helping you do this, but, um, yeah, you don't, you don't need the tools, you don't need to go buy a, a hook, you don't need to fedangle a paper clip, I mean, it literally is this simple. Use the old one to fish through the new one. The hard spot is always just the, right when that tape, like I said, gets to the gets to the eyelet. And just be, oh, sorry about that. Just keep working it. But literally, I mean, you, even the ones with a even the ones with using the hook and stuff, I mean, it was taking them like a good amount of time to get it laced through, so let's make sure I still have the right side facing, okay, we're almost there just about down to the end I don't think I need to show you how to lace the last two eyelets up here, so we'll just go through all the way through the difficult ones and show you that it indeed is possible Try to guess, give a good guess as to how much I need to have left at the end just to keep them even. But okay, let's just feed the rest of this slack through. That way we can keep it twisted the correct way. Boom, boom. It's one of the one of the things you want to do is make sure. Some people are an OCD and you don't care, but I like keeping it from twisting. So. Okay. Alright, we're down to the last eyelet. Got enough slack.
old shoelace is just about history. But you can find cheaper shoelaces. I think these are like literally they're like five bucks, six bucks on Sperry's website, guys. And uh, I'll tell you what, I tried to buy. I tried to buy some uh, before I got these off their website, and they were absolute garbage. Um, so just spend the extra couple bucks. See, I fed just a tad bit too much through to where my shoelace is about. Oh, you can see here, a couple inches off. So literally, just feed the slack, an inch of slack, back through the shoe, and in a whopping five minutes, I've got uh, a videotape showing you guys how to do it. Literally at the end, just peel off your tape and you'll be all set. I actually used a, a little box knife on the last one. I ended up trimming my laces so I wasn't really worried about it cutting the end of the lace. So mine are a little bit too long. And now instead of being patient I've tried to cut through it. There we go. Boom. Okay. Laces done. Sperry's ready to go. There you have it, guys.